This is a video about using Adobe Acrobat 10 Pro, it's the Pro version only, to um, use with a uh, JavaScript action to split a large file and scan pages into smaller files for document storage. Now the um, reason you want to do this is, uh, let's say you're scanning on a lot of uh, utility bills, and you want to uh, scan them all at one time, drop them into a automatic sheet feeding scanner and uh, maybe scan a couple hundred bills but then uh, in order to access them online they need to be in separate files so this provides a way to um, do that and have them uh, end up in sequence uh, as they came out of the original scan so if you scan them in sequence they'll come out in this so I'm um, looking right here at a um, file consisting of um, scanned uh, bills in uh, Adobe Acrobat and what we need to do is um, create uh, an action that will split this up so the uh, first step in doing this is um, we're going to take a look in the directory and uh, what we see here is this file that we're looking at just now so we'll see what that looks like after we've uh, done this um, this program. So the first thing we need to do is get the JavaScript for the um, file for the action and we could just write that from scratch or the easiest thing to do would be to um, get a free download of that which you can do and that would be from drinfrastructure.com And uh, this is drinfrastructure.com, and under downloads, Adobe Acrobat, split file script, and this is the file that we're looking for. And we download that, and we just might want this one right here too, so we'll download that one as well. And it takes care of us for that. Now we're ready to uh, start here. We're going to take a look at that file that we just downloaded. Uh, this is the second file that we downloaded. And I'm just going to copy some stuff out of here. Control C to copy these lines. There's some stuff that I'm going to be using. And then, last thing I want to copy is this is a JavaScript file, and it is designed to take uh, two pages at a time out of a larger file, extract them into separate files. So I'm going to copy that. We're ready to create a new action. Now you can see I already have some actions in here extracting pages. So I'm going to call that something different from that one. This one is called extract double pages. Um, so the next thing we'll do here is uh, create a new action. And the type of action here, execute JavaScript. I'm going to start with a file that's open in Acrobat, and then we're going to execute the JavaScript, and we have to uh, configure that. So in order to do that, we're going to paste that script that we just downloaded right into here. And then we're going to hit OK. Um, it's going to save to, um, if you wanted to change this, you could set this to ask for one folder, but it works uh, easiest if it saves in the same folder, so I can hit start. And we're going to save that. And we get a pop-up that it says, I want the action name, it's going to, we're going to call it uh, extract to Pages at a time. 
the actual description. I'm going to use uh, what I copied uh, out of that uh, text file that we downloaded. And I'm going to save that. And then we have this action extract two pages at a time. So I'll check and see how this works. I'm going to go back and take a look. Here's the file that we have open. And so I'm going to click on that. And I get a pop up. And um, so execute JavaScript. Where it's going to save it to, what it's starting with, and here's the description that I pasted in there. And next, and another pop up, and it is action completed. I'm going to close that. I'm going to look at that directory, and here you can see we generated three files, started with the same number as the original, and then they're consecutively numbered one, two, and three. So just to check this out, I'm going to take a look at file number two and see if we actually have build number two. And in fact, what we have here appears to be build number two. And build number two, second page. This is a big saver of time. Um, it's, uh, it's a much easy, a very easy way to do this sort of a thing. It's important to keep the bills in sequence as they're scanned, or whatever other kind of documents you'd be using. Um, and then you can use something to rename those to whatever file names you need for them. For further information, see uh, drinfrastructure.com.